Hello guys. Um, one thing I've learned about this team on this save is that they adapt to new surroundings very very quickly. Um, you're about to see that today um, with this video. I just want to take the opportunity to uh, thank everybody face to face um, for your support and uh, for the likes, views, comments, uh, everything. Um, you make it worthwhile. I hope you still enjoy these videos and uh, will continue to enjoy them for a long, long time. So here is the next episode. I promised an improvement and an improvement is what you have got. Keep safe guys. See you soon. Hello, hello, hello and welcome back to the AFC Hinkley save. Last time out things were very cackapoo poo. Um, and I sat back and had a long hard think about what I needed to do and uh, what I needed to do was keep the faith and praise be Jeebus it's worked okay so last time out you witnessed us get an absolute hammer in by a league two side in Leighton Orient since then we have dramatically improved uh, we drew nil nil with Yeovil before beating uh, beating Derby 2-1 Davis and Moran with the goals we then got beat 3-0 by Wal uh, Wolves by Watford which Wolves were playing today <laughs> and then I thought uh oh here we go but then everything changed we beat Bournemouth 3-1 Lee Wiley hat trick we drew two all with Warsaw uh, Kerr and Meller we beat Sheffield Wednesday 2-1 thanks to Moran and Parrish. This was brilliant, four two ones in a row. <laughs> uh, we beat Preston 2-1, Brocklehurst Moran. We beat Ipswich 2-1, Moran and Mellor. We beat Plymouth 2-1, uh, Parrish and Mellor. And then we beat Brentford 3-1, who were top of the league. Uh, Berry, Mellor and Parrish. A 2-0 win away at Leeds, which was awesome. Uh, Kerr and Redmond. A 2-1 win against Coventry, Moran and Mella. A 1-0 win against Charlton, uh, thanks to Alan Haddow. I've, I've got my man at last. I'll show you those in a second, though. Uh, and then we've slowed down a bit now. We lost 3-1 at St Mary's, uh, Wiley with our consolation. Beat Cardiff 1-0, Wiley with that one. And Middlesbrough 1-0, Moran with that. So today we're going to do Wolves at home. But first, you need to see this gobsmacked i tweeted a picture out of it the other day i am absolutely gobsmacked but we have been playing brilliantly we'll probably lose today because i'm recording a video but uh, we have been playing brilliantly uh tactics wise i have changed nothing um did con uh, consider it but uh, i decided against changing the tactic um it is a very strong tactic if you get the right players and you do it the right way it is a very good tactic um to use but um it's personal preference really isn't it i always like to play either a 4-4-2 or a 4-3-3 and I, I do sometimes like to play the old 4-2-3-1 now now that i've kind of got to grips with it and uh, got it working in a way that i like but it's all personal preference so let's have a little looky bookie at the old transferinos um that we've done since you were last with me obviously you knew about the big ones we got nailer we saw this young man uh, from oh no that's the football club we don't want to sign his football club peter schmeichel the manager of barnet say what we brought this young man carl herbert or hubert from barnet he's done well since coming in cost us 700 grand but he's been worth it he's, he's done very very well played really really quite well uh, former reading trainee went on loan to scunthorpe before joining barnet on a free and then we picked him up this season uh we got alan haddo on a freebie um, if you remember, I wanted to bring him in on loan from Reading a couple of seasons ago after his uh, exploits for Salisbury. He decided to join Scunthorpe uh, on loan for two seasons. Um, 
and then they've uh, read and released him so I snapped him up in the summer as a bit of a backup option and Lenny Fearon has joined us on a free transfer he's our backup goalkeeper at the moment um, signed on a free after his release from Norwich last season they paid they brought him from Stoke who had just brought him so Stoke just brought him then sold him then they re then Norwich released him very bizarre but he looks like he could uh, take over from Blenky when he goes uh, any more outs of significance oh yes remember in the last video I said me and him had had a bit of a fallout Mr McGinty well it it, it exploded though he got he came back from suspension um, right he got sent off I had to go at him for getting sent off he came back Played, I put him back in for a game. He got sent off again. I find him. I, I always give him a warning. Then a week's fine. Um, if they get sent off again, and then two weeks uh, for the rest of the season, the amount of times they get sent off. Stickler for discipline. Uh, if you um, sometimes, if it's a straight red for their first sending off, I'll just find them straight away. Um, and if they don't like it, they can leave. It's as simple as that. I don't mess around. Bradford doing well in League One. I assume they're probably top. Yeah, they're top. Crew second. Birmingham third. Birmingham much. How are Sunderland doing? Sunderland is sixth. Bolton and ninth. Just wondering. Leicester at eighteenth. Hmm. Anyway, those are the updates for the players and the transfers and the what or not. Uh, finance wise. Oh, I just done it then, weren't I? Sorry, sorry, guys. I'm letting you all down. Finance-wise, we still have 12 million in the bank. Expected to finish with 8.6. So you know, with those three sales, which really surprised me, have have done brilliantly well um, for our balance because it was starting to get a bit close to um, perhaps a bit of difficulty finance-wise. But uh, yeah, it's, it's going going pretty well finance-wise now, thanks to those fellas. Uh, West Ham to look elsewhere following Keith Newby's reign. Ooh. Oh, yeah, because they play at the Olympic Stadium now as well, don't they? So, we're going to play Wolves today, team we lost to in the Cup last season. Uh, they're 14th, we're top, but like I say, the curse of the video will more than likely strike penniless Watford. That's always sad to see. Always sad to see a team struggling. Talking to teams that are struggling, the mighty crew beat um, Shrewsbury 3-1 today. Fantastic performance. Uh, all but relegated Shrewsbury, I think. Possibly, maybe, even. Um, then it's going to be hard for them to bounce back from that. Uh, also, Nathan Chambers has been promoted from the youth team look at his first touch and his long shots the rest of his stats aren't brilliant but he will improve over time he's been playing a few games of late um, been doing really well Godfrey Moses hasn't settled in brilliantly so you know it's kind of one of those where it, it's just a case of seeing how he goes I'm going to bring Naylor in today I think uh, I'm going to bring Nurse in I'm going to leave you in and you We'll put Haddo on the bench for you because Lee Wiley can fill in. But I'm going to start with Wiley instead of Mella. Uh, Blackwell can sit on the bench. Da, 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 da. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Also, your Michael Grant. Um, I've been using him as left back. His stats aren't great, but his rating is a good Championship player. So. You know, fingers crossed we can work with him. He's only 16, uh, made a couple of appearances for us. But, uh, you know, we're easing the kids in slowly. Uh, Franklin's gone out on loan to York. I think you know that already. Dish has gone to Cambridge on loan. Um, Franklin's got like three and three for York or something. So we might bring him back and thrust him back in a bit. Uh, Mella struggling to displace Wiley. Um, in recent weeks parish as well moses like i say he hasn't settled in brilliantly but um you know i'm so i'm giving kerr the starts and bringing moses on um a bit later on in the games so this is going to be a very difficult tie at home to wolves like i say we, we've been playing well but 
last few games we've sort of stepped off a bit you know draws and defeats and stuff and very narrow wins I'll go and go. oh nobody there to meet it also today I got the news that I was unsuccessful um, for the actual AFC Hinkley job um, apparently I was very good but there's somebody who uh, who they've decided to go with instead so that's fine and uh, I wish them all the luck in the world go on goal Andrew Kerr get in you absolute beautiful man go on make it two oh nurse Kerr swing it in go on go on nurse Moran goal 2-0 after 8 minutes I've set a target of 47 points to stay up because last season it was 44 so I think if we can get to 47 as quickly as possible that's safety guaranteed even if we're top of the league I am still concerned first about staying up getting to that 47 points Mark oh what are you doing that was terrible that was ridiculous <sighs> the player who's been superb for us so far has just cocked right up go on Oh, Kerr at the back post there. This is a bit of an action packed game. Hope everybody's enjoying it. I'm a bit nervous now that it's 2 1. Go on, get another. Go on, send it back in. Chambers, Chambers. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Goal! Lee Wiley, sixth of the season. I'm contemplating trying to make his return permanent because I don't think he's good enough to get into Fulham's team. And I think he needs another revitalisation. Go on. Chambers, Lowe, Chambers, Brocklehurst, Davis, Brocklehurst, Kerr, Moran. Oh! He missed when it was. It, it, it was easier to score than to miss there, surely. Oh well. Very good. Very good indeed. A 3 1 lead at half time a home to a team who beat practically the same team last season I think it was 3 or 4 or 1 was it in the cup 3-0 three 3-1 nil, three something like that but uh, that's good I mean it's not over yet go on get him Oof. it's not over yet by a long shot but um, Sean Nurse is struggling a bit so we'll plop Wiley over there and who should we go with? We've got Mella, Haddo and Parrish. I'm going to go with Mella for now. And Naylor, I'm going to bring you off for Blackwell because of your mistake. And Kenny needs more games in his natural centre-back position. So, and we're about to hit about that nope that's not what i meant to do i'm going to uh, change things a little bit tactically and we're going to pull moran to there and pop Mellor up top and then we're going to bring parish on there and we're going to bring mr etherington on oh i've already made oh i'm stupid sorry guys i'm a bit silly uh okay Passionately, I have faith in your boy. I forgot I'd already made two substitutes. Never mind. Never mind. It's not the end of the world. Nobody's got hurt. Yet. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, we have adapted very, very well to our surroundings. And um, away we go. Oh, what a finish. Well done, young man. Well done. Well done, Craig Wright. Well, we finished seventh of the season. That's a fantastic finish. This now puts us into squeaky bum time. Keep them out. Surely that's it. Come on, ref. Blow that whistle. Get it. That'll do us. 3-2 win. Very pleased with that. Very pleased indeed. Well done. It was a very good win for us. And it pushes us just... Oh, look at that. 
eight points away from our safety target after 18 games. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And as you can see, um, morale's good, fairly good, superb in some cases. Uh, fitness is up and down. We've suffered many, many injuries, but we've pulled through it. You know, and um, it's been going well. I mean, look at these fellas here now. Franklin. He's got 5 in 10, 6 in 11 in all, all competitions. Ha as has our good friend Mr. Dish Dakota. He's got 6 in 15 um, down at Cambridge. So that's good, you know, they're developing well. Kenny Hill is out on loan at Barnet. Uh, Peter Schmuckles Barnet is conceded 7 in 4, but um, I think he may end up moving on. Another lad who I'm thinking of utilizing is young mr rob carter um decent championship player or leading championship player i think he's gonna come up to be but i've got to shoot guys because uh, me and the wife are going out for the day because obviously it's the bank holiday weekend um so thank you very much for watching uh, i've really really enjoyed um the comments and stuff of late it's been really good to uh you know to get to chat to everybody and uh, on, on the comments and stuff and on twitter and that and it's been really good so uh, i will leave you guys with a look at the championship table top half at the minute as it stands i'm so gobsmacked that we're doing so well at the moment but um there's a long way to go yet and as we showed in league two we can lead the league all season but it doesn't mean we're going to go up so uh, and I think it would be too early for us the Premier League would destroy us if we went up anyway but uh, we will go where we go we'll go where the players take us and we will survive where the players can survive uh, thank you guys please hit the like button if you've enjoyed it sorry it's a short one but uh, sometimes life gets in the bloody way <laughs> women steer clear <laughs> steer clear <laughs> Thanks guys. Toodle pip.